By all means. is like you were also a delegate for uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign um, what made her want to continue the Affordable Care Act or maybe I don't, I don't know if historically you know Hillary has always been a proponent for, for health care and, and she was it was Hillary in the 1990s that started the, the drive for a universal health care from the White House and uh as we all know what happened with that, <clears throat> there have been repeated attempts uh, both in the houses of the, the national legislature to deal with health care. And it wasn't until the Patient Safety Comprehensive Health Care Act under President Obama that we, we have a system in place that catches the uh, American citizens that had chronically gone without health care had no way to get primary care. And the, the, the ACA, as it is right now, is a very good beginning uh, for universal health for all Americans, which I believe all Americans should have, have the right to have. So what exactly is Trump administration really wanting to do? They don't know. Uh, that, that, that's the question. You know, they all campaigned on repealing and replacing Obamacare, but they had no idea how complicated our health care system is. Take, for instance, the state of Kentucky, where the, that, that state, like 36 other states, had the expansion of Medicaid. 400,000 of their citizens have health care because of Obamacare. They campaigned against Obamacare. The people in the state didn't even know that the ACA and Obamacare was one and the same. So if they take that away, as in the state of Nevada, you, you have 400,000 people who had no way of ever getting health care, lose their health care again. What is your profession in the, the medical profession? How long have you been? I'm, I'm a registered nurse. I work at our University Medical Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been a registered nurse in Nevada for 33 years now. And I've been at University Medical Center for 25 of those 33 years. So I've seen the trends in healthcare in terms of our patient population, in terms of our hospital not being able to uh, afford the, the burden of uninsured patients, but yet absolutely obliged, un unable to turn anyone away, and being chronically in debt to the tune of uh, between $130, $180 million a year. With the Affordable Care Act, our patients have a way to pay for their health insurance. They have a, a means to establish primary care. It's probably the things to be. And our hospital is making money, money to, to pay salaries, to make capital improvements. So uh, if this goes away, uh, the Las Vegas community is going to suffer greatly. And where do we go from here? What, why did you guys specifically target Dean Heller? Dean Heller, is, is his vote in the United States Senate is pivotal in terms of what's going to happen with the ACA. Uh, Dean, Dean Heller is probably one of two, two senators, and most likely the senator, that will determine whether or not the ACA goes away. So uh, that's why we've targeted uh, Dean Heller. You know, and the other thing is that we just want to have a conversation with Senator Heller. We just want to talk to him. And if he won't talk to the community as a whole, I really want to encourage him to talk to the hospital administrators of the hospitals here in Las Vegas, to talk to Governor Sandoval, to talk to our state legislators that understand the extreme burden that would be levied on our, our community if the Affordable Care Act goes away. Michael, hey, thanks for hanging out with us, though. Oh, my right. pleasure. My pleasure.